Hey, what's going on guys? Haven't seen you in a little bit, but I'm back in preparation for my 2019 mule deer hunt. I've got a tag for the Wasatch Front. Hopefully we'll have some success. It's not like a real hard unit to draw or anything. It's not known to house any like monsters, but you know what? I haven't killed a deer before or gone on a deer hunt before. So this is gonna be new and exciting. I'm excited to go. That being said, uh, this morning I rolled up some fresh ammunition for the deer hunt. My bullet of choice and my cartridge of choice is going to be the six millimeter Creedmoor with 112 grain Barnes match burner bullet. I want you guys to realize something. The equipment I've got here is entirely my choice what I've brought. Now, I'm fortunate enough to have a few different choices for optics and rifles to go on a deer hunt with. I've got a couple rifles that are acceptable for, as deer hunting cartridges. Um, the setup that I've gone with is not my lightest setup and it's not my cheapest setup. It's not my most expensive setup. Uh, what I went with is my Uinta Precision UPR-10. This is an AR-10 bolt action upper. You can see the bolt here. Um, and then I've also got a preferred barrel blanks on the end there. Now that is my lightest barrel. It's spiral fluted. I had this rifle put together for my Vortex Extreme competition. And the optic I've chosen to run is my Tracked Toric Ultra HD 4 to 20 with a 50 mil lens on it. It's MOA, zero stop. It's illuminated, which I have a few other scopes that are also illuminated. This is the one I've chosen to go on. This is the one I've chosen to go with. I've used this scope on my Tika project when I went out to shoot 2,000 yards and it performed perfectly out to 2,000 yards. That really gave me a bunch of trust in this scope and that's why I've chosen to go with it. It's not my highest magnification scope. It's not my lightest scope. I just trust it. That's why it's here. That's why any of my gear is here is because I trust it. To go out into some harsh conditions and I need my gear to work when I need it to, these are the guys I trust. So I've got my tracked on here, my Uinta Precision, and my preferred barrel blanks. I trust that all those will do their job to get me a deer, to feed me and my family, and support us. So I'm sitting at the 100 yard line. Let's shoot a group at 100, and then we'll move out to 500, confirm some dope, confirm some velocities. Uh, I've got a magneto speed on the end of my rifle. Thanks, Rylan. I appreciate it, dude. So let's get to it. All right, it's quite interesting. At 50 yards, I was about two MOA high, three MOA left, and then I just scooted it back to 100 yards. I didn't really change much. I dialed right, and uh, I was aiming here, and I have a group here, and I got three shots that would easily, I mean, that's maybe a third of an inch there, so. Shooting good. We'll get a zeroed. We'll go from there. All right guys, 440 yards, full size IPSC, fresh paint. Hoping for real close to the center here. Only one camera, cause I'm being lazy today. So that's how it is, but hey, we'll give it a go. Okay, I hit. Three quarter high and a half right. That would have been a, definitely a leaf of kill. Another hit, that one hit far right. Elevation was perfect. Nah, elevation was a touch low. All right, that's five. It's stacked four towards the right in about a two inch group. So we'll have to go down there, check it out. My first shot landed a little high. So kind of interesting. Let's go check it out. Well, all right guys, you know what this looks like to me? This looks like a dead deer. So let's take a look at what happened. This is my point of aim. I took a little piece of like cindered up wood and just scribbled on the white. Shot number one. I'm real happy with that. 
shots two through five. So there's four shots here. You got one, two, three, four. There's a three inch spread center to center, just under three inch spread. So really awesome group there with the four shot. I'm not sure why that was a flyer, but I'm actually happier with the first shot than I am with those four. So I don't know if the wind picked up or maybe I didn't have it shouldered the same for number one as I did two, three, four, five. But either way, I mean, that's within six inches of my point of aim. So I'm real happy with that. I think I'm ready to go do this. Real excited to get the opportunity to go up in the Wasatch Mountains and go after a deer. Hey, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Check out the links in the description where you can check out uh, one of my West Desert Shooter t-shirts. It's a simple way to help the channel. You actually get something out of it rather than me just asking for money. Uh, of course, I have my Amazon affiliate links. If you click on that link, you can buy anything you want on Amazon. Anything from like stupid gun accessories or toilet paper, whatever you're up to. Anything you buy through that link gives me a little bit back. It doesn't cost you extra. I greatly appreciate your time, guys. We'll see you in the next one where uh, I'll be chasing deer. See you guys around.